Today's video will be a fun look at how a single texture has had a massive influence on the gaming world, with most people probably not even realizing it. And when I say this texture is used in everything, I mean everything. But that's because there's something extraordinary about this little texture. And today, we're going to learn about all the crazy and inventive ways this ingenious texture is used. Welcome to the next episode of Stylized Station. So, what is Perlin noise? In 1981, Ken Perlin developed an algorithm while working on the movie Tron. He was trying to find a way to make computer-generated surfaces look more interesting. Other people soon became interested in Ken's algorithm and started using it for all sorts of things. Perlin noise became so popular that it's been used in almost every major movie since Tron was released, and now it's a standard tool in almost every 3D software package. In 1997, Ken was even awarded an Academy Award for his groundbreaking contribution to the film industry. One of the most common things Perlin is used for is to add believable and organic variation to textures or even create entire textures on its own. We can create interesting patterns by layering in Perlin noise at different strengths. These layers are called octaves. For example, by layering in different octaves of Perlin, we can create compelling textures like wood, marble, stone, and even some more crazy stuff like smoke, clouds, and even fire. This layering technique is subtly used in almost every texture in your favorite games, and especially procedural textures. If you see a texture in a game with some level of variation, there's a really good chance it's using some variation of Perlin. Perlin noise is a great way to make terrain in video games look more natural and realistic. One way it can be used is by creating what we call a height map. A height map is a black and white image that tells the game engine how high or how low certain terrain parts should be. The darker areas are lower, and the lighter areas are higher. In Minecraft, game developers used a combination of Perlin noise and procedural design to create the entire world, including mountains, valleys, rivers, and the placement of assets like trees, rocks, and caves. And in Epic's latest showcase, the development team used procedural design and noise maps to build the entire city, allowing for instant iteration and limitless variation in their designs. Most modern open worlds have used some sort of noise textures to help build out their landscapes, like the rolling hills of Red Dead Redemption 2, the hellish mountains of Doom, and the scattered Greek islands of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And almost every other open world game you can think of all use some variation of Perlin noise to build out their height maps. Perlin noise can also be used to drive motion and animation in game worlds and bring the game to life. Nothing beats the world of Ghost of Tsushima, in my opinion, when it comes to worlds that feel alive. This game makes it feel like the wind is always present, affecting everything it touches. But it's all a lie. Wind doesn't exist in this game, at least not in the way you think. All of these effects are faked in one way or another by using Perlin noise. To create the volumetric clouds in Ghost of Tsushima, Perlin noise is used to make the cloud look more random but still realistic by generating variations in density, mimicking the structures of real clouds. Perlin is also used to animate grass as well. By scrolling a shifting Perlin texture over a grassy landscape, we can make the grass raise and lower in a natural pattern, making it look like it's being gently blown around in the wind. We cover this topic in deeper detail in my environment creation course, so if you want to learn how to make flowing grass like this, I'll leave a link in the description. It's actually pretty easy. Perlin noise can be used to add another layer of complexity to your VFX. Adding a scrolling noise texture to your flames can make the fire shimmer and distort as real flames do, and then you could add a noise particle system to animate the sparks coming off of the flame for some much needed variation. In fact, Perlin noise is so good at generating great looking textures, the algorithm is used all over your favorite VFX you see in games, not just fire. Games use Perlin noise for smoke, rushing water, dust, lightning strikes, laser blasts, and almost anything else you can think of. I'm going to be doing more deep dives on lots of this amazing VFX this year, so I'd love to explain some of this in more detail later. And it gets honestly crazier than that. Perlin noise can be used for other things as well, not just game art. It can be used in game AI as well to make decisions, like character movement, making natural character animations, and even where the AI is going to aim. Or you can use Perlin noise to generate sounds, like rushing water and blowing wind. But that is going to have to be another video.